What's up everybody, I'm Kyle Shepard with the Handsome Made Coffee Blog, and this is the Groove Coffee Sender. over to help us do a taste test. We're gonna give them two mugs of coffee. One's gonna have sifted coffee, this is gonna be unsifted. They don't know which one's which, but we do. And we're gonna see what they think about the two of them. To eliminate as many variables as possible, we're gonna use the same brew method, the Chemex. We're gonna use the same water to coffee ratio, and we're gonna use the same water temperature. So let's jump on over to them. They'll introduce themselves, and then we can get started with the taste test. Hey, my name's Nathan. I, uh, I don't have a huge amount of knowledge about coffee. I just started making my own pour overs and trying different methods like AeroPress. I'm Madison and I have a very, very small knowledge of coffee, but I drink it probably like three times a day to keep me awake. My name's Brooke. Um, I don't know a ton about coffee. I'm not super picky. I don't like bitter coffee, but I drink it all the time. Kind of take a second to think about it, kind of mull it over. It helps for me if I'm talking to other people. Does the black one feel less bold? I think the black one's a lot more bitter than the white one. A lot I more like bitter? the white one. Yeah. yeah, I think I like the white better. But the black one is more bitter. But the white's it's... more smooth and kind of like mellow. I can, I can drink it all day and not feel like it's a chore. I think this one's thicker. That one, the white one if, feels if thicker? If you had to pick like whole milk, skim milk, whole milk. Okay. <laughs> I agree with Brooke on that. Mm -hmm. The black one the white one feels, feels lighter. No. The so the white one white feels heavier, black feels a bit lighter mm -hmm. on the palette. Okay. Yeah, I can actually I might be able to. Or I think this one is like more of like the like the like there's some the bitter, like almost like sour. Okay. Yeah, the black one I feel like it the taste stays in your mouth longer after you drink it. In a pleasant way or like a, oh I wanna get I wanna drink something to get this out of my mouth. I like it. So the more you get used to it, or the more you drink them, the more you like the black mug? Yeah. Okay. I think so. It's more like coffee. This one doesn't have a huge amount of flavor in it. I feel like the white one. Like it's just like light coffee, but then this one. Okay, now about the after thing, aftertaste. I'm agreeing with that. It's not as bad. It might have been this one, and then I added Maybe to it Maybe it's because I don't have a great drink. palate, but this one has more flavor. More flavor, okay. Yeah. Yes. Do you, at this point, do you still think the um, white mug is better? Both of you guys said earlier you liked the white mug better. As you drink it more, as it kind of like cools down, are you preferring the black over the white now? They're kind of balanced for me now. Balanced? I could drink either. Really. So as they cool, it's not as prominent of a difference? Right, it's not as acidic, it's not as... Uh, it was really bitter when we were It was actually really bitter. It was super bitter. Really? Okay. That's not, so... When it was hot, yeah. Okay, because when they were hot, they were hardly different, but now they're yeah. a lot different. Hmm. That's true. Yeah, there's like a, an actual yeah. notice, noticeable difference. This one's becoming less... It's just, this one's super light. I think I said it was heavier. I, not, I don't taste it heavy. I think it's light. Not heavy necessarily, just thick. Not, yeah, not heavy, like thick, like... Milk and no. milk. Tastes like milk. But if you drink whole milk, it like goes down your throat. It's like thicker. Gotcha. Like it's a little bit heavier. Okay, okay. Yeah, like a dark, like the body in wine. I think I like the body Sip of the white it. better. And now I'm starting to like the flavor of the black better. It's yeah. the same coffee, right? Yes, same, same same coffee. All we yeah, did, we did made different ways. Right? Yeah, we just made it slightly different. I feel the same as Brooke. Like I like yeah. the texture of okay. the white one better. But this one is better in my opinion because it tastes more like. Yeah, if we, put the, if we could put the flavor from this one into that one, it'd be yes. great. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you feel like that you're makes getting, any sense at all? You're getting more of a um, satisfactory flavor of coffee out of the black mug. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, do you think if you were making coffee in the morning, it would be worth an extra minute while preparing to get the flavor of the black mug? Yes. It'd be worth an extra minute of, of work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would it be worth? Um, buying an extra accessory that was between 80 and 120 dollars to me probably not for me because i don't i'm not that big into coffee maybe if i get more into it 
then yeah, because like I I don't have like I said like, I don't have like a, a palette yet to distinguish like a huge you know variety of different coffee tastes. But I think that if I was to get into coffee, then definitely yeah. But as a just an average coffee drinker, probably I wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, two of us are in college. That might be affecting our yeah yeah, yeah. full like, interest. Maybe if, if I had more. Yeah, I think if we were like at the stage in life where we have careers and like. You have your own house that you just pay a mortgage on, or like that kind of stage in life, like more midlife. I would probably do it. Okay. To enjoy it more. Yeah. Just that we're in college right now, so it's like textbooks. You're just drinking to survive. Yeah, drink, yeah. drinking to survive at this point. That sounds bad. Yeah. <laughs> Does the uh, aesthetic value of the sifter help? Yes. It is, it is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Bamboo, natural, organic. It's pretty nice, right? Yeah. So with that taste test done, Jeremiah and I are gonna give it a shot ourselves and see if we can define differences in a little more of a coffee professional setting and see what we think between the two of them. Go ahead and click on the link, wherever it is. I wanna say thank you to Crew for hooking us up with some sweet sifters to play with. If you wanna find out more about them, link is in the description. Uh, if you wanna find out more about coffee, how to brew, things like that, you can check out my blog at handsomeway.com, link in the description. The video was shot and edited by Jeremiah Harlow. You can check his information in the description.